2013, Lucky was already capturing hip hop media's attention as one of the most promising new talents of the Chicago trap scene. Yeah, Andrew Bobby is real close. Um, Cause you know, he was your manager, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me when I was like 16, he told me I, he told me I was the best rapper in Chicago when I was 16. When you were 16. And, and Face Your Drive, if you're from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Facial drive is a, like that's the spot to be at. It was like I was still in school and shit. I was like a sophomore. That shit was just crazy for me because he was like the, he was like the key gate to the city. Because at right. the time it seemed like he put Chief Keef on, mm -hmm. put Chance on. Let's see what I can find. Let's show baby pictures. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. I was there before. So I had to fight him to get him in the suit. Hey, Beth, please. Um, ma, ma, come on, G. I'm for it's real. Called, Stop, it was. Oh. <laughs> the mob tried yeah, to fun. kill him yeah. once, he survived, and ever after that was called <laughs> Lucky. He became the godfather of the modern <laughs> crime ironic. syndicate. I expect to happen. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> y'all think it's funny. I feel like, I feel like, I'm untouchable. I was in 197. It used to be OSG. It started off as OSG. We was outsiders first. That's the first thing we was. Yo, yo, yo. You know I started off for nothing. Did so much for me. I was so disappointed in that mixtape. Like I was so disappointed. But that was just like, cause I made the entire mixtape just off of Zan. I was 17, I made that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then Complex put that shit in the top 50. 16, Alternative Trap came out, and Complex then put me in the top 50 at the end of the year. My heart was broke. I'm shot with me. I know yo, old dealer selling that bull. A nigga be time by serving that eat. Boss baby serving that 96 bull. Ain't no what a dealer got more plug than me. Charged up with a tug of war type pull. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I think he's the best in the city. Like, he the most versatile. For real. Like, he could do the best of trap and the best of alternative. Oh, I just saw something different. I just think, I just think that it'd be an own lane. Like, nobody never did it before. And that's what I was aiming for. I was doing too much of my um too much of my freeway type shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I felt like I wasn't giving my, my my dark my dark fans like the the one that relate to me you know, no attention. Let me tell you the whole concept of Sam in the first place. It was coming from in the first place. Sam was David Berger was neighbor. Apparently David Berger was a, was a psychopath. David Burke was neighbor. He had a dog that barked all night. David said demons were speaking to him through the dog. So that was so when the dog was barking, that's what the demons were speaking to him. Vices are demons. My demons are these bitches, me being fucking speaking on Rick James. Like this fast life, like drugs. Sam just want me to do evil. Sam just want me to Sam just want me to dial the youth with the druggy music. By the time Lucky returned, his experiences had made his lyrics and messages rawer than ever. I used to think I wanted to be like most deaf, like an underground legend. 
It's because I was shy, though. I was pretty shy. But now, I want to be like a super, super star. When I was living in New York, I just felt like I was just alone. That's all I could rap about. That's all I could think about. I get time though, please. It's lucky with an I, L-U-C-K-I. I wrote the first half from New York. The first half, I was like manifesting what was happening. Cause that's how I made music, like relating to people. Thank you. I made the second half and I just had to go home. So I wrote the second half from home. I'm out west right now. We finna go to Papa Block and then come to the studio. I just appreciate niggas being patient. For real. Like, and I even saying patient, like, patient for like a body of music drop. Like, just patient, like, watching the progression. Like, patient for me when I, like, step back into this shit, step back from rap, and, like, was, like, having, like, personal issues. Like, patient for me to, like, come back and support me like I never left. Like, I just appreciate the fact, like, the, um, the pedals through y'all put me on, like, it make, like, I talk to other rappers a lot, and they just say, like, I need fans like yours. Like, you feel me? Like, so that's one thing I appreciate, like, for real. I used to just only have one demographic, like, weird kid listening to my music. Nah, you got pretty ass girls, weird kids, hood niggas, people I went to school with, like, everybody know. It's like, all it takes is for the masses to see. Like, you feel me? You know, niggas rap, I'm 22, I've been rapping since I was 16. So it's really something you've been waiting for. That's crazy, like. Yo, moment. I was I used to really be into like lyrics, but when I was listening to Chief I just like it just like I'm down naturally. Like I just like that shit. Yeah. Yo, yo, don't be followers. For real, don't be followers. And with the way the world set up, it's kind of crazy right now. But we got this shit in our palm. Literally, we can do whatever we want. It's opportunities for everybody to do whatever. For real. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um sorry for the scrappy quarantine look i hope you guys are all staying safe uh this sunday is my birthday i'm turning 18 as a birthday gift i'd appreciate it if if you like this video tweet it at lucky and uh, get him to see this uh he's a big inspiration of mine and i'd love for him to see my work and see what i think of his work so uh thanks for watching and subscribe for more <laughs>